hello guys it's your it's silas tops your php lecturer here welcome to our php lecture 13. in this lecture guys i want to quickly show you how to draw a chessboard using a nested for loop in php uh, if if you watched our previous lecture which is lecture 11 and lecture 12 you should be familiar with the, how we were writing the the and a code using a nested for loop and a nested while loop if you haven't watched those videos i recommend you to revisit them Re revisit our php lecture 11 and 12 and try to understand how to write and code using a nested for loop and a nested while loop so my details here guys if you have any problem you simply contact me on my cell or email here then i'll respond to you so the topic for today is drawing a chessboard using nested for loop so if the board that i'm going to come up with is this one that which i've got an image here so the chessboard if you are familiar with playing chess guys you know that the chessboard consists of a, a square board that you've got eight rows and eight columns so my nested for loop will be consist of outer for loop outer for loop representing the number of rows and the inner for loop representing the number of columns and know that these boxes in my box in my in my 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 chessboard you've got two colors black and white and a, a white will be alternated with a black and alternated with a white alternated with a black alternated with a white so all this i must i must it must be actually displayed using my php program so how am i going to come up with a code that's gonna draw this box let me actually show you without wasting time guys so the first thing i have to go and open my notepad plus plus which is my text editor so once i'm in my notepad plus plus guys i want to paste here the initial html code that i have which is this one so the topic for today is simply drawing a chessboard using nested for loop in html so you know that if i want to write an html php code i must have the opening tag for php so i just put an opening tag then closing tag for php so all my php code must be in between this tag so the first thing that i have to do guys you know that if i want to draw something that you've got a table of boxes i need to use the html code html tags that are called a table so i have to echo an html tag here called table so if i because i want to draw a table so i have to call that html tag called table so the HTML, in this uh, html tag i want to set my table on this tag i want to set to set my table with let me give it a value let's say my table width let me give you a value of something like let's say 400 pixel then i want also to remove the spaces in between my table so i want to call a an html class called cell spacing spacing then i set this cell spacing to to zero pixel let me just put zero pixel so that i'll remove the spacings in between my my boxes so i want to set also the border i want to have a border size so let me give a let me set a border size of uh, uh, what can i give let me give you uh, one pixel it will be fine i think let me give you one pixel border size of one pixel so once i'm done i think these settings are all are enough for now so let me close this table then i i put a same colon here but this this C table tag i have to actually close it because that is an opening tag only for my table so i have to close it here how do i close it i simply come here then i'll put another closing tag for table which is simply table i'm done then i'll separate it with the same colon so this is what i have to to do once i'm done this the next thing i want to write a for loop that will present my outer my rows of my you know that the syntax of writing for loop is this one so i want to write a outer for loop that's representing the number of rows of my my chess box so i have to declare a variable inside the initial position the initial value or any starting point 
I want to declare variable called row. Then I initialize it to row what? Row number one. So I simply starting to from num row number one. Then I want to put a condition as long as variable row is less than as long as variable row is less than or equal to eight. I want to keep on doing something. So the I want to keep on incrementing my row as long as my row are still less than the maximum. I want to keep on incrementing my row. So I simply say variable row plus plus is the third argument. Once I'm done this, I have to, you know that each and every for loop, it have got an open keyword bracket and closing keyword bracket. So I have to open this keyword bracket and closing bracket. So once this, if this condition is true, everything inside here must be keep on executed. So inside here, I need to have a table row. I want to call an HTML tag called table row. A table row is simply an HTML tag that is going to tell me that I want, I'm in now in a table, opening a table row. So an HTML tag, when I want to open a table row, is simply TR. Then I close it. Then I want to close this table row. Okay. Same colon. So I want to close table row this tag i'll simply say echo then i want to close it because i'm opening the tag called table row then i have to close it to close that you simply it's html syntax guys i hope you are familiar with the html so once i'm done opening my table row i want to write a for loop for my column i'm in a table row i'm in row one i'm opening now the I'm in a, I'm opening my HTML tag that going to tell me like I'm in a row, in a table row. So what am I going to do in that row? I have to go through all the columns. So I want to put a for loop. A, this for loop will be representing my columns. So I have to start from column number one. So I want to declare a variable called caller. Then I'll initialize it to one. Then it have got a condition. The condition going to be while caller is less than or equal to eight i want to keep on doing something i want to keep on also increment my color that will be the last the th third argument so this for loop also you've got its opening qr bracket and closing qr bracket which means as long as as long as the number of a uh, columns are not yet it reaches this value eight i want to keep on executing anything that is inside here so what am i going to do inside here i want to declare a value code what called total let me declare a value called total then i say total total i want to find the total of my row plus my column I want to add my column and row and find the total. So what am I going to do once I got this? I want to compare if when I divide the total with two, if I'm going to get a remainder. If I say variable total percent, if you watched our previous lecture, guys, you know what this a uh, percent means. It simply means div the remainder gives me the remainder after I divide by made by two. The remainder that I'm gonna get. So I want to say if total divided by two, you've got the remainder of zero. You've got the remainder of zero. I want to do something. So let me just open also a QL bracket for this if and a closing QL bracket. What am what am I gonna do if this percent is equal to zero? I want to to echo a box, a box that that gonna be a white box. I want to echo a white box. If my total and row gives me an even, so I want to echo in a white box. So I simply say echo. So, so in the, once I say echo, I have to put a table data because I'm writing it's HTML code, code table data. So I want to set the height of my my box. So let's say height is close to. I want to set the height maybe to be let's say 35 pixels. I think it's enough. Say 35. If I say 35 pixel, okay, 
then I want to set also the width let me say width width is equals to let me set the width of 30 pixel I think it's gonna be okay 30 pixel let me then I want to set the color the color I want to set it to white white so I simply say B color is equals to then I want to display the color in form of a hexa a hexa white color is simply in this format which is f f f f then i'm done so once i'm done this i'm displaying this one then i have to close also here i have to close so to close my table row i simply put this one then i'll say t d okay closing t d then this is how i close then here i have to not here after after my color here yeah, i'll put this one this is how i close so else i want to do what i'm writing at the long place okay i have to come here my if you have got an else so else i need to do something here paste so if this thing this percent is not giving me the remainder of zero which means I have to do something. What am I going to do? I'm going to echo the box with the color of black instead of white. So I'm simply copy this one and paste it here. Let me paste it here. So instead of, I simply change the color here. So the color of black, black is the absence of all colors. So I simply put the zeros here. So I got, I displayed the box with the color of black. So once I'm done this, I think he, everything is done guys so i have got my two boxes here so once i'm done this program like this i come here and save my project let me just come and save i come save as here okay when i'm here i look for my c drive c drive i look for them then i go to hd docs in hd docs guys i want to click a new folder let me name this prog prog 13 since it's a project and I press enter then the name of my code project let me say project dot ph dot php then i'll save it in my prog 13 here i i just wrote pro 13 but it's fine i open it and save uh subject yes let me just say yes to replace the one that is already there i don't know which one okay once i save it guys here yeah, i want to come and look for my control panel for them here's my control panel i click it then make sure that i start a page and also i start my sql once these two are started then i can minimize this i go to my favorite browser in my favorite browser this is the image that i'm going to open the first the, then in my favorite browser here i have to type localhost local host then if forward slash then the name of my project which is pro pro 13 then press enter once i press enter i'll see the project displayed here if i run it so you see guys everything is displayed as i expected i managed to draw a chess box with the box of white using my program of php nested for loop so i hope guys you understood how to draw a chess box using a php nested for for loop so so guys if you are still struggling i encourage you to revisit our previous lecture which is lecture 11 and lecture lecture 12 which I demonstrated on how to write a nested for loop and while loop for you to be able to understand even the application of a nested for loop here in drawing of a chess box. I hope guys you enjoyed this lecture. I hope you enjoyed this lecture guys. Keep safe, keep well, keep practicing PHP. Hey, just actually try to follow all the steps that i did followed here to understand how i did the things here guys in my code also understand the application of the html tags that i used here how that how what it means and i actually showed you did this html in our first semester please be safe enjoy your evening guys i'll meet you in our next lecture thank you